It's an afternoon walk and I've never been so happier than this moment for some cool breeze. Breeze that I'm always complaining that's cold. Up on Zen, up on Crown Mountain. I'm trying to catch my breath. Whoa, I am pretty sure. That was some speed walking that I just did. That was not Zen. I think I was trying to burn off those four fried chicken <laughs> wings that I had today and I'm pretty certain that mission was accomplished oh wow oh yes this breeze feels so refreshing <sighs> so oh, what are those Oh, these are some berries. I'd go up there and show them to you, but I don't fancy that grass right now. No, I shouldn't play with that. If you see the little red thingy on that green, green tree, those are berries. I think I know that tree. I have to ask mommy, because I am pretty sure that's edible. And if that's the case, you know, there's a whole bunch of organic goodiness and vitamins and all that wonderful stuff to be had derived from those berries all right so zen thought for this afternoon it's about and i tried to record it yesterday but didn't do a pretty good job so let's do take two zen thought over the weekend this scripture came to mind it was you've come past about this mountain long enough, you know, go north. And that was referring to the, oh boy, I'm being so distracted today. Listen, I have a witty joke for you. Can you see those palm trees that I'm pointing at in the far distance? Well, you know, today is Groundhog's Day. Okay, let me see if I can get this right. The palm trees saw its shadow, so that means it'll be six more weeks of sunshine. <laughs> You're supposed to laugh. Anyway, forget that. No, so back to the scripture. You've come past around this mountain long enough, go north. Um, and that was to the children of Israel. They were in the wilderness for 40 years. They had walked around and, you know, ventured around. And God was instructing them to go not to move on move ahead and what has got to be the most ironic thing is the promised land was only three days journey away and they spent 40 years just wandering around the same thing and it made me wonder you know do we let you know days turn into weeks weeks into months months into years and we're going over the same thing regurgitating the same issue. If you're still arguing about the same issue and complaining about the same issue that you did, you know, one year ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you're not progressing, you know? Time to move forward, go north, go ahead. Right, so in Genesis, one of the first things we learn about God is he's a moving God. It says, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the earth. We should be mimicking, we should be patterning off of our Father and, you know, moving ahead, moving ahead from things that won't even matter a year from now, you know? And that would free up our time so we could learn to do new things, you know, and, and pursue the desires of our heart, even determine what the desires of our hearts are. I am convinced that if people knew what the desires of their hearts were, they would be more content because they would start to work on it. But when you don't know, when you don't examine yourself, when you don't do that hard work, you will be forever looking at somebody's life um, and, I don't know, for lack of better, you know, probably judging, probably envying, or even probably even cheerleading, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. But at some point, you've got to say, you know what? I've got to really make the best use of whatever time that's granted to me on this earth. And I, you know, there's no better time than now. 
So I guess we'll call this sin walk thought, the power of no. Now, let me go see if I can catch the sunset and get a few ah, photos. And my breathing is back to normal. That was pretty awesome.